हेलो फ्रेंड्स लेट्स कंटिन्यू इन द लास्ट लेक्चर वी हैव कंप्लीटेड क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री फर्स्ट थ्री क्वेश्चन आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू सॉल्व बिफोर द एग्जाम क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर लेट्स सी व्हाट क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर इज आई विल सॉल्व फ्यू सम्स ओनली राइट नाउ एंड आई विल टेल यू व्हाट टू स्टडी बिफोर द एग्जाम बिकॉज इन दिस चैप्टर कैपिटल गेन देर आर फोर्टी सम्स इफ यू सेट एंड डू फोर्टी सम्स बिफोर योर एग्जाम इट विल कंज्यूम एटलीस्ट थ्री आवर्स टू कंप्लीट दिस चैप्टर फोर्टी फाइव मिनट्स फॉर रिवाइजिंग द थियोरी दैट आई हैव गिवन यू ऑल एंड टू कंप्लीट दिस चैप्टर इट विल ईजीली टेक थ्री आवर्स सो काउंट थ्री आवर्स प्लस फोर्टी फाइव मिनट्स अप्रॉक्सीमेटली इट विल टेक यू फोर आवर्स बिकॉज एज पर माई स्पीड आई एम टेलिंग यू थ्री आवर्स बिकॉज इफ यू इवन इफ यू जस्ट गो थ्रू ऑल्सो दैट टाइम ऑल्सो यू विल फील ओके आई हैव लेफ्ट दिस आई हैव लेफ्ट दैट सो वॉट यू हैव टू स्टडी स्पेसिफिकली दैट आई विल बी टेलिंग यू राइट नाउ सो दिस इज अबाउट द शेयर द क्वेश्चन दैट आई हैव थॉट व प्रीवियसली अबाउट दिस वॉज अबाउट सेक्शन फिफ्टी सी एंड दिस वॉज अबाउट द सॉरी दिस क्वेश्चन वॉज द नॉर्मल क्वेश्चन द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन the first and the second question was the reverse mortgage scheme i have told you to write in the theory books i hope you all have written it uh, so let's move on to question number 4 question number 4 what does it says let's read mr methun purchased 100 shares of messrs go good money company limited on 14 2005 at the rate of rupees 1000 per shares in a public issue of the company company allotted bonus shares in the ratio of 1 is to 1 on 1 12 2014 He had also received dividend of rupees ten per shares on one five two thousand fifteen. So dividend is exempt under section ten thirty four. So as soon as you read this, you should write in the question besides this section ten sub section thirty four uh, during the exam also. So that and after writing this, you should put a star over here and write income from other sources so that you can remember if it comes in the computation of the total income. So you have to put income from other sources. uh this uh, you have to write this and less exempt under section 1034 and in the outer column put it nil i am not solving the sum right now i am just explaining you i hope you are understanding what i am trying to say because in the previous lectures i have solved the sums he has also sold all the shares here there is a mistake what mistake here it is he has sold only the shares that he has bought brought as that he has got as uh, bonus shares here the question says he has saw he has sold all the shares on 1 10 2015 at the rate of rupees 4000 per shares through a recognized stock exchange i hope i have told you if sold through a recognized stock exchange we have to take it as uh, uh, section 10 sub section 38 if it is long term capital gain fully exempt if it is short term capital gain then under section 111a at the rate of 15% it will be taxable so this question let's see is it long term or short term uh it will be short term because the question is saying sold all the shares but it is not all the shares only cut it all the shares and write only bonus shares because the sum has been solved for regarding bonus shares not for all shares on 1 10/2015 at the rate of rupees 4 Thousand per share through a recognized stock exchange and paid brokerage uh, sorry and paid brokerage of one percent and security transaction tech stt is paid so it is transferred from a recognized stock exchange it is a hint and if it is in the question disclosed directly uh, transferred to a recognized stock exchange to celebrate as 75th birthday so you should write underline this 75th and write 3 lakhs over your firstly the cost of inflation index are as follows so that will be needed as and when we'll solve the sum uh, the limit is 3 lakhs So let's. Uh, what the question says? Compute his total income and tax liability for the assessment year 2016-17, assuming that he had no income other than given above. Firstly, write this computation of the total income and tax liability of Mr. Mithun for the assessment year 2016 and 17, short-term capital gain on sales of bonus share. The sum is solved for the bonus share. It has not been solved for the all the share. If it had been solved for all the share, then the number of shares here would have been two hundred into four thousand. But it is only hundred. So the printing mistake is that all the shares. Because as we move ahead, there is a similar sum that you don't need to solve. I'll search and tell you which is the similar sum. You don't solve it in, during the exam before the exam. Uh, just it is about the only only bonus share. So let's move ahead. Uh, when we have received the bonus shares, we have received the bonus shares on one twelve two thousand fourteen, and the shares are sold on one ten two thousand fifteen. If if you remember, I have given you 
before solving before giving you the format of uh, income long term capital gain i have told you which are the assets to be considered as long term capital gain that is 3 years or 36 months above and short term capital gain are equal to less than 3 years but in some cases like shares listed mutual funds uti and zero coupon bonds uh, only one year is lib only one year if it is hold then it will be considered as long term capital gain but if less than one year it will be considered as short term capital gain so let's count is it one year or less than one year so in, it, it is a, it is a listed equity share that's why 1 12 2014 and 1 10 so as you see 12 12 it is not 12 and 10 so it is only 9 months no 9 months not 9 months wait Mm, 10, 11. It is 10 months. It is 10 months. So it is not 12 months. So it is short term capital gain. So we'll calculate short term capital gain on the sales of bonus share, gross sales consideration. In case, in place of year, you have to write FVOC. That is full value of consideration. Please cut and write full value of consideration. Follow a standard pattern. The question does not ask you to do this. You have to follow a standard pattern. Full value of consideration less brokerage one percent, one percent on this. The selling price. One uh, percent of rupees four lakhs. Please write it as I am writing. Net consideration three lakh ninety six thousand less cost of acquisition. I have given you the chart of cost of acquisition. Uh, if it is, if it is purchased before one four ninety nine, then the cost of acquisition of the bonus share will be the market value on one four eighty one. But if it is acquired on or after one four eighty one, one four two thousand eighty one. Uh, let me be slow little someone have asked me in the comment to speak little slow because then uh, my speed is quite because my speed of teaching is very good so i'm sorry i'll teach little bit slow uh, because the cost of acquisition of the bonus share is after 141481 so there will be no cost of acquisition cost of acquisition will be nil but if it is was before 1481 then it would have been the market value on 1481 1481 is the date okay total income nine uh, total uh, total income is 396000 or uh, that's it so this is a uh, income from long term capital gain uh, sorry, short term capital gain of listed equity shares so It is under section triple one A at the rate of fifteen percent, but the flat rate of fifteen percent. So firstly, we'll subtract three lakhs from this three lakh ninety six thousand as the person, Mr. Mithun, is of seventy five years. So his exemption from the slab is three lakhs. From zero to three lakhs, his tax rate is zero percent. So from For the remaining part, it will be taxable at the rate of fifteen percent, not at the rate of ten percent, since it is a short-term capital gain under Section Triple One A at the rate of fifteen percent. I am stressing on this sum so much because the students do mistake. They calculate at the rate of ten percent. They do slab rate and come, and later they realize no, it wasn't slab rate. So I am stressing on this sum. So please be cautious. Uh, since the income is less than five lakhs, he'll get the rebate under Section eighty-seven A. So, firstly, calculate ninety-six thousand into fifty into fifteen. Per, I'm sorry, into fifteen percent. It comes to fourteen thousand four hundred less rebate two thousand. Rebate is to be less be on the taxable amount. The tax amount that we have to pay before the calculation of education says and secondary higher education says so fourteen lakh four hundred minus two thousand comes to twelve thousand four hundred and on this amount you have to calculate education says and secondary higher education says then club bet this is not mandatory but listen how to round it off if it is less than five. Then bring it to zero. More than five, transfer it to the next zero. That is, if it is seventy two, take it to seventy. If it was seventy six, take it to eighty. Understood? I hope this is clear. Now let's see the notes part. The note part is very important. Many of the students don't write the notes. They think, oh, I know this. I have solved the sum. So the examiner may assume that I am knowing the fact. But no, you have to recognize, make recognize the examiner that he does not. no any of the section and i am teaching you just it is you have to write the paper as if you are teaching the examiner 
डू यू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट आई एम ट्राइंग टू से द एग्जामिनर शुड फील ओ ही हैज़ द कम्प्लीट नॉलेज सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू विल राइट दिस सेक्शन टेन थर्टी एट सेक्शन टेन थर्टी एट इज नॉट नीडेड एज फार एज आई थिंक सेक्शन टेन थर्टी एट इज नॉट नीडेड बिकॉज द क्वेश्चन इज फॉर ओनली बोनस है बिकॉज इन द इन there is one sum ahead and it speaks about only bonus share but if we take it as all the shares also uh, the shares have been ho- t- purchased on 14 2005 if the shares are sold today that is it is more than one year the capital gain will be exempt under section 1038 but such sum won't come you have to always be cautious of this word only bonus shares i have cut and specifically done only bonus share because of this because in the exam they might alter this much part only they might write only bonus share in place of all the shares so that's why i have solved it earlier only if you want you can assume the sum is done is is about selling all the shares so if all the shares are sold the first 100 shares that are sold for 4 lakhs at the rate and 1% brokerage is paid so 3 lakh 96000 will be totally 3 lakh 96000 will be totally exempt under section 1038 as it is sold from the recognized stock exchange stt is paid uh stt paid will not be subtracted as a transfer expenses i i have already taught you all it in the theory section so this part is over you can write this you can if you are solving considering it as only bonus shares are sold then you don't need to write this if you are considering all the shares are sold then you have to write this then sale of bonus shares under section 111 how i have taught you all please write that there is no need of writing all this thing just what i have taught you in the theory just elaborate over here dividend income is exempt under section 1034 i i told you this cost of the bonus share will be nil as such shares are allotted after 1481 see i have taught you over here so you can write this 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 security transaction tax is not allowed at deduction that also i have told you now a uh, brokerage paid is allowed since it, uh, this is a common sense this is a common fact if you don't write this it is okay so this uh, sum is over so i'll henceforth i'll be teaching few sums like section 54 54 g 54b uh, then stock transferred into the business and for that sums for a better benefit than slum sale that is section 50 50b that i'll be teaching you all now uh, so the lecture for this much is coming to an end now the next video will be on another part